Hey everyone, are you ready for some great news today? We have updates on the sales of the top 10 Nintendo Switch games out there, including Animal Crossing New Horizons, literally shattering records. It's insane. We have total Switch sales. We have a whole bunch of news to drop your way because Nintendo had a nice big financial briefing over the sleep period of last night for me. However, before we get into that, I want to remind you to enter our giveaway for Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered. Uh, we will be giving away a copy of it at the end of the month. To enter, all you need to do is comment down below, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell icon and set it to all notifications. Also, we are on our road to 50,000 subscribers. If we can hit 50k before November, the November giveaway will be... Well, it'll be a PlayStation 5, an Xbox Series X, or a Nintendo Switch. It'll be up to uh, the winner's choice. But hey, you know what? We're not there yet, so let's get into the big news we have today. So before we get into the numbers, because the numbers are a big deal, uh, and they show why Nintendo just doesn't care about launching Nintendo <laughs> Directs to get us hyped for future stuff, because they are doing so well in the present. It's insane. And this also explains why maybe the stock prices aren't dropping as quickly as people might think they should however let's talk about stock in terms of the switch itself because we all know it's been very hard to get a switch this summer and really leaking into last spring well according to nintendo um it has reached a point now where stock is almost back to normal numbers uh the company highlighted problems it faced thanks to the coronavirus and its three months earning report published earlier today uh the report reads that covid19 created some difficulties in procuring the parts required for manufacturing nintendo switch consoles but the overall production situation has almost recovered now the thing is they're saying almost recovered it means it's not actually back to full production and we have seen things like the animal crossing nintendo switch has reappeared somehow out of nowhere in australia for all of 10 seconds so it's interesting to see that uh, production is ramping back up and i've said this before at some point in august uh you know back when nintendo said that they were almost back this is like over a month ago now nintendo said they were getting back to normal production levels i told you guys then and I've seen some comments on that video where it's like, oh, ha, 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 see, you were wrong. And I'm like, did you listen to the video? I said by some point in August, the middle of August or so, is when you would start to see switches end up back on store shelves because it takes a while. Just because they're back to normal production levels, there's shipping involved. Uh, and shipping takes a long time. You got to get it on the boats to go overseas, back to the U.S., until their warehouses, and then out to all the various retailers. It could take a month to two months for that to happen. So, yes, uh, expect it to be fairly easy to get a Switch soon. How long they can stay into the, at that production level, I have no idea. Uh, hopefully for the rest of the year. Now, let's get into the numbers. Uh, and let's first off just go with Nintendo's net profits. Uh, they reached $1 billion uh, dollars in the last quarter and have a 541% rise year on year. Uh, compared to quarter one of last year, Nintendo's net sales have more than doubled this time around, covering the period between April 1st uh, and the 30th of June 2020. Those net sales reached a total of 358.1 billion yen, up from 172.1 billion yen last year. It also saw a significant rise in operating profit and ordinary profit, with numbers rising across the board. The 541.3% rise we mentioned translates to a quarter one net profit total of 106.4 billion yen, or just over $1 billion dollars. USD. Over the same period last year, Nintendo's net profits reached 16.6 billion yen, which is about $157 million USD. And now we're going to see why that happened because many people have been telling me all year, oh, because of the lack of the announcements and this and that, Switch stock should be going down. And I kept telling people the Switch stock prices really shouldn't be moving anywhere because Switch is in the midst of their best year yet. And well, as you're about to see, the numbers kind of show why. So first off, let's get into the top 10 best-selling Nintendo Switch, Switch games, uh, and you're going to see some crazy numbers here. So Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is still holding on to that number one spot. However, it might not last past 2020 because at number two is Animal Crossing New Horizons. And guess how much that game has sold? Remember, that game came out you know, not you know, just a handful of months ago. 22.4 million units. It is the fastest-selling game 
period on Switch. We have not seen a game sell this quickly on Switch at all. It's insane. It hasn't even had a holiday period hit yet. Animal Crossing New Horizons is likely going to go cross over 30 million. It is very clearly the best selling game in the series. I am just, oh my gosh, 22.4 million. Can you believe that for Animal Crossing? That's just the number two game. At number three, we have Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which is basically at 20 million. It's at 19.99 million. Probably by now in August, it's probably at 20 million. Uh, yeah, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I don't know if we'll ever see another fighting game sell these kind of numbers, even another Smash game. Insane. Wow. Next up, at number four, still holding on, is Breath of the Freaking Wild at 18.6 million. Wouldn't be surprised to see that over 19 by the end of this holiday period. Uh, but yeah, Breath of the Wild just keeps on selling. If you ever wonder why Nintendo doesn't lower lower the prices of games, just look at the sales of their games. Next up, this is this is really cool. Pokemon Sword and Shield has sold 18.22 million at the number five spot. 18.22. To put that in perspective, it is now the best selling game in the Pokemon franchise since Silver and Gold Gen 2. It is the best-selling game in the franchise since those days. By the end of the sales of this game, it could end up being only comparable to Gen 1. Uh, you know, red, blue, green, etc. So, yeah, uh, this is absolutely nuts. And I, I just, Pokemon Fever is, is just not going anywhere. Uh, next up, we have Super Mario Odyssey, which has crossed the 18 million mark as well at number six at 18.06 million. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee has creeped above 12 million as well at 12.2. So you know, that game is getting some uh, long tail sales there because it was stuck at about 10 to 11 million for a while. But uh, maybe um, you know, maybe it's possible Sword and Shield gave it an extra million boost over the last year. Uh, Super Mario Party is at number eight with 10.94 million. That's going to be at 11 million here pretty quickly. We have Splatoon two at number nine at 10.71 million and then the only game not over 10 million at the number 10 spot is new super mario brothers u deluxe oh, another wii u port at 7.44 million units we also know the xenobrake chronicles definitive edition has sold over a million units as well in its short time on the market uh i think it's actually already outsold the original release back on wii so good for that now the nintendo switch itself here we go get ready the nintendo switch itself has sold 61.44 million units and if you look at the hardware ranking sales it at this point would have passed the nes um, the NES, at the time of the of Nintendo's official report, was still about uh, 500,000 units ahead. But again, this was back in June. Uh, it is now August. It is highly likely the Nintendo Switch has surpassed the NES, meaning the only like home console left on Nintendo's radar is the Nintendo Wii. So we'll see if it can get that extra 40 million in sales to pass Wii. What's interesting too is software sales are at 406.67 million units. Um, that's still about 100 million or so behind the NES. Uh, so it's very interesting to see that, like, although the hardware sales are similar, the software sales are a little bit off pace um, with uh, the NES, although it is ahead of basically all of Nintendo's other home consoles beyond Wii, of course. We, we sell almost a billion units of software. So we'll see what happens when Switch gets up to 100 million, or if it does. Um, that means it sold over 5 million in the last fiscal quarter, uh, for those that are wondering on the exact sales of Switch. Um, this is uh, what Nintendo also had to say about uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons, in case you're curious. It said the number of consumers who started playing on Nintendo Switch because of this game continued to increase during the first quarter. From April to June of 2020, of all systems in the Nintendo Switch family that were played for the first time during that period, over half were used for Animal Crossing New Horizons on the first day. So since the release of Animal Crossing New Horizons, half of the people that bought a Nintendo Switch played that game. So talk about a system seller. Oh, yeah. Oh, freaking yeah. Um, so at this point, uh, it took us all this time just to get through all of the actual data. Um, there's going to be more information that, that comes out eventually. You're going to see a Q&A that where Nintendo is going to answer more specific questions. And uh, we'll cover that as well if there's anything interesting. But I just want to take a moment to admire, I guess, these sales figures. And I get that 
for me personally, it's not like these sales figures mean anything to me. I'm not making any money off of these sales figures. They're not sitting here handing me checks um, for because, you know, Pokemon Sword, Sword and Shield over 18 million or because over 22 million of Animal Like, these are insane numbers. 22 million for any game is insane, let alone Animal Crossing. And I just think that Nintendo... Uh, when we've talked about the lack of directs this year, when we've talked about the only knowing, you know, one game at a time, like, you know, we knew what Paper Mario was coming, then we didn't know for 17 days what was next. Now we know one game's coming and Pikmin 3 Deluxe. And I know uh, it might be until that game comes out that we find out anything else. I think that while it's frustrating and infuriating and it feels like uh, maybe new, new games, because, I, you know, if people want to talk about just new games, technically only two have released from Nintendo this year, um, that that it's a little frustrating nintendo's in the midst of of the best year of switch by far um and investors should be extremely happy at the amount of money and likely dividends coming their way on their stocks i think that um at this point nintendo can almost do no wrong and that's saying something as we head into the xbox series x and playstation 5 coming out which everyone is making kind of an assumption it'll affect sales uh when miles morales hits and halo infinite like you know nintendo's gonna be in trouble but again these systems don't really replace switch um they're amazing platforms i i honestly can't wait to see what they're going to cost uh, you know maybe they're going to end up being insane in price but i think to be affordable uh they're going to both companies will be taking big losses per unit sold but honestly it doesn't matter what these 4k 8k 120 fps systems can do because they don't they're not portable you you just you simply just can't take them with you in a convenient way and you can switch so i'm not that worried about it and i don't think nintendo's that worried about it either at least in the short term i do think uh it'll affect third-party games like i don't think we're going to start seeing doom eternal and witcher 3 kind of ports next year or the year after for switch i think that kind of support's going to be dropping off and that's that's a shame because we never really got to get full third-party support at any point in switch's life uh but you know Nintendo took a huge step in the right direction this gen, and they're setting themselves up well for the next generation whenever they decide to launch that. But yes, um, Switch is killing it. Nintendo's killing it. I'm, I'm just baffled by these sales right now. Um, my mind is swimming in data, and I love data. Let me tell you. I'm going to keep swimming in it, and if I find anything else interesting out of all the data that's out there, uh, you'll be sure to know that I'll make a nice uh, video about that. Anyways, enjoy. I uh, hope you guys have a lovely start to your day today, and I'll catch each and every one of you in the next video.